Okay, I'm going to do a quick video. Everybody's having a little bit of a, a war out there with the uh, what's better, Xbox One or PS4. So I'm going to give you a little bit of my opinion. It's my opinion. You're, you're probably not going to like it. But uh, I'm just going to do a quick review on it. Which one's better and why. And you're going to have to pick and choose which one you think is like they're both good machines. They're both going to serve the purpose of what you're going to do with them. But in the long run, what's the better bang for your buck? Okay, now both systems have a 500 gig hard drive. Now, the only problem is not upgradable. Upgradable can be upgraded but voids the warranty. Upgradable doesn't void the warranty. Now to upgrade the hard drive in an Xbox One you need to tear the whole thing down which is a big job. Okay. To upgrade the hard drive in the PS4 this panel slides off and your hard drives in here a couple screws, voila. Now the Xbox CPU Let's get into that. The Xbox One and the PS4 have similar CPUs. Both CPUs made by AMD. Both use an APU setup which links together both CPU and GPU into one package. The CPUs are 8 core chips using Jaguar cores. Xbox One runs at 1.75 GHz which was bumped up from their original specs of 1.6 GHz. Sony runs slightly cooler at 1.6 GHz which may take some of you think that Xbox One is more powerful. This is not the case. The power of the GPU is much more important here. The Xbox One comparable to the Radeon HD 7000 series 8 gig DDR3 RAM PS4 comparable to Radeon HD 7000 series 8 gig GDDR5 RAM the PS4 and the Xbox One both use the AMD GPU the AMD logo at first glance it seems like their GPUs may be identical but they're not on paper the PS4 graphics processor is 50% more powerful with up to 1,152 shades of processor against the Xbox One's 768. So what do you think about that? Which one do you think you guys should go for? Leading to the PS4. With more powerful GPU, seemingly faster memory, the PS4 is clearly out in the front in graphic specs. So you guys, basically the PS4 is a better machine. All the argument out there in the, on the internet, a lot of people don't know what they're talking about. Go get the specs, read them, compare them. The PS4 is the best one on the market. The graphics is way better. The only thing you can get out of this machine right here is 720p quality. It's only 720p. Now the PS4 gives you a 1080. All gameplays are 1080. And you can notice a difference. People say you can notice a difference. Well, you can. If you've got the proper TV, the proper setup, you will notice a difference. Now, getting to the style of the machine, I'm not going to go too far in the depths of what's inside this machine. You can go read it up for yourself. There's a lot to, both to know about them. But now just look at the machine itself. This machine looks like a VCR. A big console. The PS4 is smaller, slimmer, and it has all the goods inside. And the main thing that I like is no power bar. 
Big machine, they should have been able to get rid of that power brick. Come on, Xbox, get with the program. You never did too much to the machine. All you did was make it try to make it look pretty. I mean, it's a nice looking machine, don't get me wrong. It's a nice looking machine, but you could have come up with something better. And you could have come up with more of a design on the internals too, because you're not you're it's still old. I mean, we're still here with the Xbox. The only thing we have different? Blu-ray. Some of the specs in the, in the processing, a little bit better. Uh, well, I'm not going to uh, determine that, but I would say these two machines right here are the same thing. Different design, same thing. Now you look at these two, different design all together than the PS3. Mind you, the PS3 was pretty nice. I like the PS3. It's kind of fat. They come out with a slim version. Not bad. But going to the PS4, a total different concept. At least they're putting a little bit of knowledge or a little bit of thinking behind this to make things a little better. Going with the stripe on top of the machine. The cooling is a lot better. Has the Grill clear around the whole the whole system, and a better fan. They went above and beyond with the PS4, unlike Xbox did. They wanted just a new console to make more money off people. From that to that. Now the only reason why this box, Xbox One, is bigger, is to allow better cooling. Well, yes, the Xbox 360 had problems. You would get the rig, rig, the red ring of death, which you could call it from overheating, which will burn up the, the, the processor in it. And uh, a lot of people had problems with them. Yes, there was a fix by a fan, which was uh, another cost. So, yeah. Now, Back to the Xbox 360. The system had a 120 gigabyte hard drive, which was removable. Why did Xbox go from this, which was a good concept, to that? I have no idea. Now the PS3. Now that hard drive was not upgradable. So like I said, now PS4, they made it so it was upgradable. So much happening with the PS4, so much that was done, and well worth your money. Now, PS4 has come out with a totally new concept for the controller. You have your share, and your buttons, and your, your touchpad, whatever you want to call it, and your integrated speaker. Totally cool. On the back, you had a light which is flashing. Nice little added feature. Everybody was talking about, well, I like the Xbox 360 design. Well, here we go back to design. Do you see any kind of change here? Um, well, there's one. They moved this, put it up here added this black part in here and put it up there. Actually they added some more change to I forgot the battery concept in the back smoother more uh, clean look from this. Now everybody complains about the PS4 you can't change the battery. Yes you can change the battery in these. You can buy the batteries in these no problem take the screws, there's four or five screws in the back, pull apart, unplug it, just like a handphone wireless set, change the battery. Now these batteries last a lot longer than them batteries. Now how many of these batteries here are you going to go through compared to these? I've never changed one. 
I'm sorry, but I've never changed one. Bad for the environment, good for the environment. So, to make this video a little shorter than what it really needs to be, uh, like I said, for design, the Xbox One really didn't put that much effort in adding a couple grills in the machine. Now, going from that to that, I would be kind of uh, embarrassed of allowing this to hit the market for the little changes that's been in this machine. They should have come out with the same uh, CPU as these guys have. They should have had more than just going from that to a Blu-ray player. I mean, come on, you guys. Keep supporting Xbox <clears throat> and paying their price, which is like 500 bucks for this machine. Going from that to that. Was it worth it? No. You might have just kept the 360, kept playing. Your games work in it. There's no problems. I don't, I don't get it. Now I can see making a change from the PS3 to the PS4 because there's so many changes. There's going to that seven, going from 720 to 1080 games, which is a lot better. Now there's a lot more design and specs to this machine worth upgrading by far. Just the controller alone outdoes this. Same controller for how many years? It's ridiculous. So the other question and things that people have problems with was the Kinect. Well, Xbox came out with the Kinect from this 360 and it is one big ass camera and it's so big it has a fan hook to it. What is with the fans in the camera? Come on! <laughs> More added costs that you don't need. The all new Kinect for the X or PlayStation 4? It's all new. And the people were saying, well, you don't get to connect with the PS4. Newsflash, they now sell the Kinect, the camera, with the PS4. So, that being said, a whole new design for PS4, which will lead to so many new things, which Xbox hasn't even done with yet. So, I'm leaning to on, leading towards buying the PS4 and using the PS4 just because of the graphics and the way the games look is amazing. And this controller, PS4 has the ability to share, to record, and play with friends online so much easier by just hitting the share button. If I can get this to focus, which is probably not going to. Now with the PS4, if I'm playing a game and my friend wants to come in and I'm having a problem or struggling with a part in my game, I can hit that share button and they can come in and they can play my game. That's pretty awesome. Can Xbox do that? No. So now, everybody that bought these new machines jumped on and just bought them as soon as they come out. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait to see what the specs were, what was going to be so much more better. Well, people went out and bought the new PS4 and never got the Kinect camera. They had to pay extra for it. Now, like I said, they're giving them the camera for free. This one was purchased and got the camera for free. Which was a total of four or sixty-nine dollars for the camera. I only paid four hundred and fifty dollars for this machine, and I got everything for free. Well, I got the camera for free, I should say. Plus, I also got the uh, rubbers that goes on to the joystick for free. Did Xbox do that? No, they didn't. They threw in a Kinect camera, which was bulky, big, as big as their power brick. And for how big their machine is, it should have on um, board or whatever you want to call it, power built into the case. That's stupid. Now you got a big brick sitting behind your TV that you can't even push your TV against the wall. Yeah, the feature of the brick lights up. Well, what do you do? More extra cost for you guys. Now, I know everybody's going to come up and say, huh, 
Xbox One has 1080p. Yes. The machine supports 1080p only for Blu-ray disc. But it doesn't support 1080p because for the games because the games is not there. The technology inside cannot use 1080p for the games. The processor won't do it. PS4 will. The games are 1080. Pay the same price for this machine for games as you would for these games. Better quality. They're all 1080. It's very easy to make up your mind, you guys. I mean, yes, you've probably been with X Xbox 360 for a while. Uh, I have both of them, as you can see. One is my son's, and one is mine. Well, I've had to call in a lot for technical issues. For instance, for online gaming. You have to go in and change your, change your DNS on your routers because they're very picky. And it states here on the box, on the package of Xbox, that you may have to tinker with your router to get it to work. I get comments all the time on the router that I have from Rogers that it sucks. The Rogers router sucks. Or this router sucks. Or Netgear router sucks. It's not the router, you guys. It's the machine. The machine has to have an open port to play online gaming. Now, that being said, when you have an open port on your router, you must well say goodbye to one of your firewalls. You're going to have to lose your firewalls. You're going to be more prone to attacks. People can come in and take information off your computer or your Xbox. You're vulnerable to attacks and hacks. What can I say? Way to go, Xbox. Now, with this machine, you don't have to tinker with your router. Uh, I know there's been an issue with Destiny that you had to tinker with the router but it wasn't because of the PS4 it was because of their server so Destiny get with the friggin program nobody's gonna go and, and, and screw up their life or be vulnerable to hacks because you guys is gaming and servers is not set up correctly I've only had the problem once and if I keep if I ever keep like if it comes back I'll just get rid of the game and not play it anymore. Uh, I'll sell it. I'll get my money, well, somewhat of my money I got into it. I think it's 30 bucks with the bundle, so 20 bucks if it keeps it up. <clears throat> now, what more can I say? Oh, yeah. Now everybody is saying uh, something about the online gaming. You get a purchase PlayStation Plus. Yes, you have to purchase PlayStation Plus. I heard in the future that they're going to do away with it, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Once they start getting and seeing people pay for it, they know that they have us, that we're going to pay for it, they'll probably continue it. So, now, to use that, online gaming, 50 bucks. Well, yeah, 50 bucks. This one, 60 bucks. 50. 60. You paid $500 for that machine. You paid a little over $400 for that machine. And you're going to pay $10 more to play online. Xbox, and I don't get it. You guys, if you if you want to compete with PlayStation, you better make better changes to your console besides looks. And it really ain't much of an upgrade from that. I mean, you went from external hard drive, I mean, well, I should just say external, but a removable hard drive, to you can. I mean, yes, you can go to an external hard drive, then you're going to run into some problems. So, I'm not going to get into specs on that. You guys will have to read about that. I don't know. I just, I don't know what to say. So anyways, you guys, I mean, I don't know if I made it any more clear. If you're looking to buy a machine, yes, the PS4 is way better. It's way better. I, I mean, I can't, I mean, come on, they went from that, sorry, they went from that, which was pretty junky, I will admit. 
yes it's small it's not as good but at least they gave it a little bit of a try upgraded it to something a little more fancier I mean come on better bang for your buck so oh yeah I wanted to mention one more thing online support which I was leaned into there and I got sidetracked these guys here are one hell of a pain in the ass for online support they will run you right through the washer and back and through the dryer about 30,000 times I hung up on them twice because because the support sucks yes they're there they pick up the phone I'll give them a bonus on that one but come on you guys for a machine that hasn't changed from very much to this and then giving people hassle for online gaming to change the DNS and port forwarding not worth it no it's not it's not worth the headache if this was my machine when I first got this well I should say I still had to deal with it for my son I had to friggin open the ports which makes me vulnerable <clears throat> which is his machine he wants it open he wants to be on safe my credit cards and stuff is not on there I'm not gonna get the hack he will he'll learn the hard way if something happens to this machine all it takes is one person in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare to get pissed off because you kick their ass or you tease them about it online and they have a little bit of knowledge on how to get into your system they can make you life a living hell believe me so PS4 now I just dealt with support on something stupid which was you cannot register your console yet which is kinda of dumb their website you go on there you cannot register your your console so I uh, went to live chat on the computer I couldn't find the number anywhere but I was talking to them in live chat which was quite quick uh, they understood everything I was talking about uh, they didn't run me through the washer dryer back again you know they're pretty straightforward uh, I do have the number uh, it was in my book I just didn't look um, their support is really good okay it's retarded what well, I had to deal with these guys I mean stupid so anyway I'm gonna let you guys go on that note I'm sorry, I mean, I'm going to get a lot of haters. Uh, I mean, it is a nice console. Um, don't get me wrong. Xbox has been out there for just as long as the PS4. Uh, yes, PS4 didn't have much of a console. Back at PlayStation 2 sucked. I never get into the gaming because it, it was that bad. So anyways... The machines themselves, as far as I can show you is now, the uh, Xbox One going from this, not having this anymore, to a, you know, pretty much the same size machine. Let's we'll set these side by side. Yeah, they went bigger, I would say. And not much update on the internals so you paid pretty much the same price for another machine that you can't play your games in from that machine to this machine it was stupid why I don't know this machine plays 720 as well this one only plays 720 but you can only play blu-ray I don't understand.